Helen E here with Eyes on the Game here at American Top Team in Coconut Creek, Florida, being joined by the champ, Dustin Poirier. Now, uh, last time I flew here to interview you, you were about to fight Max Holloway for this title. Now it's yours. How does it feel? It feels incredible. It feels right. It feels like a, um, a lot of sacrifice to get here, but I'm excited about the future. Yes, and speaking of that future coming up right around the corner, UFC 242 against Habib, uh, 25 more minutes to make life fair, right? Every time I get in there, it's it's 15 or 25 minutes to, to make life fair, and uh, that's what it is, and I'm excited about it. Now, what would it mean for you to unify the title? It would mean everything. It, this is about making history. It's about leaving a legacy. It's about doing something that's never been done. And you fought very tough guys like Max Holloway to Anthony Pettis, uh, Justin Gaethje, Eddie Alvarez. But where do you think Habib ranks amongst those guys you fought and beaten? He's another champion, but he's the most dominant fighter that I've ever fought. Yeah. Um, he's never been beat, you know, so uh, he's at the top of that. And people may see this as striker versus grappler. Do you feel like people forget your Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, too? Yeah, they, they don't talk about that much but I'm definitely very dangerous on the ground and I've been American top team for seven years working on my wrestling I'm excited to show that just my understanding of mixed martial arts as a whole is, is gonna come through in this fight now who have you brought in uh, to kind of mimic Habib my main guy we are working with uh, is a guy named Sidney Outlaw from Philadelphia George uh, Masvidal actually brought him out here to mimic uh, Ben Askren and then we kept him here in camp um, to, to help me out and he's been incredible and speaking of Ami Jorge, obviously incredible win for him uh, and game plan. And then also Amanda Nunes, her game plan and win over Holly Holm. Edson Barboza, he spoke to the Schmo and told him, you have a good game plan, you know, going into it. And I can't help but think that there's going to be a big surprise coming, right? I mean, uh, the big surprise is everybody who doubts me. That's the big surprise. I'm going in there to scrap, to hurt this guy, to put this guy away, to walk forward and, and do damage. What did you think about his win over Connor? Uh, I thought he stuck to his game plan well. I stayed on Connor's legs, wore Connor down, and then put him away. And which round do you think you'll finish the fight? Third or fourth round, I'll, I'll stop Khabib. And lastly, I mean, you made your pro debut in 2009. It's been 10 years, but very successful and continued success. So, what do you credit for the longevity? Uh, my wife's belief, uh, consistency and just work ethic, showing up every day on days that I, I don't want to be here, days that I feel bad, um, you know, days that I don't have the energy, I just keep showing up and keep getting better. And that's great, you have such a great support system. Happy third birthday to your daughter. Um, and what would you like to tell all the fans? Thank you so much for being along this ride. I, I plan on putting on great fights like I always do, stopping Khabib and unifying these straps.